What's up everybody? It's your boy Kakarot. Happy Friday the 13th, since today is Friday the 13th. So, I kind of want to get this video out a little while ago, but I thought today was a perfect day to do a Friday the 13th the game beta kind of final take on what I thought about this game. Um, so it did get pushed back. We were thinking we were looking at an October release, but they decided to add a kind of a Offline AI bot system kind of a single-player mode which huge for replay huge for replay um, Down the line so we're looking at a spring summer 2017 release so we're not too far off here being January 13th Friday the 13th so this is a little gameplay This is from my live streams. I have quite a few live streams of the virtual cabin and the Friday the 13th the game open beta this is actually me playing with my stealth chick um, I want to go over a couple of things they did right with this game and a couple of things they did wrong um, I got it for PS4 thankfully um, my computer is not really great it's horrible actually but I was able to run uh, high settings at, at around 20 frames per second not very good so low settings I could get up to about 40 but I got it on PlayStation 4 so a lot of people I know did as well so uh, the beta was only PC only so um, over the five days we had for the open beta I put it around 55 hours now I've never done this for another game before um, being a huge Jason Voorhees Friday the 13th fan I'm assuming some of you are out there I would hope um, without being a huge fan of this series this game is still very fun feels like there might be some other games out there like this but the fact it's Jason Voorhees and if, whoa <laughs> and the fact how awesome this game was um, it if you're a huge Friday the 13th fan like me this is a dream come true and it was freaking awesome so a couple of things they did right with this game um, the graphics were very good very well thought out game much better than I actually thought um, just as we only had this one map we only had, you know, we had mostly, we had the characters, and we had the weapons, and the traps, and, you know, we didn't have a full, you know, the full setup, as they're going to be doing on it, obviously, later in the game, maps and such. So, we had three Jasons, um, although they showed four in the uh, virtual cabin, so we did not get the fourth Jason I was looking for, so we did get the Jasons. Um... The beast mode, Jason, I believe it was part two, was level 13. So it took me all five days to get to 13. So um, I was having a lot of issues finding games. Um, that was one of the problems they had. But that's not a big deal. So graphics were good on this game. The concept was good on this game. I mean, it's hard to find bad things to say about this game other than what I'm about to go over right now. So for the most part, love this game. I put it, like I said, I put it 55 hours in five days. I've never done that before in a game. So, just the feeling of this game is incredible. Um, there's still a huge ongoing demand for this game. The virtual cabin servers were actually taken offline. I'm not sure if anybody heard about this, but they are trying to like um, do a lot of backdoor hacking to, to the uh, servers, trying to find this game to steal it and release it. So, they actually had to shut down some of the virtual servers, um, virtual cabin servers. I think you could still get on there and play. Um, but you can't do like the trophies and stuff like that because people were really hacking the hell out of it so they had to shut it down so pretty not very cool actually but a couple things while I go over that they really need to improve in this game um, what was very broken was they need a jump button now perhaps I didn't find one I didn't see one but it was very broken uh, when Jason's chasing you uh, there could be a little a little log or a little rock and you could just kind of keep that as a barricade and I was, when I was Jason, I was chasing people and without that jump button, it's like you're just a, a little log on the ground separates you and Jason and he can't get to you. Or if there's like a little fence or something, that was quite annoying. Um, and obviously, pl only playing this one map, it was pretty to the point where Jason could just teleport right to you towards, uh, you know, toward... Once people got there 20, 30 hours in, it was pretty, like on this map setting you're seeing right now, um, the two blue cars that are shown on the map, people obviously teleport there. So, a couple broken features in this game, but they're getting a lot of feedback for this game. Um, I did all, all their surveys and stuff like that, so 
Um, and some of these counselors too were kind of broken as well. Vanessa, Vanessa, Vanessa. Vanessa was the athletic chick. She had tons of stamina, tons of speed, making it, unless you mastered the morphing from Jason, she was virtually impossible to catch. And <clears throat> most of these counselors as well, just in a straight jogging mode, Jason was very slow. I mean, you really had to master, um, especially part seven, which was the best looking one. He could not run. So um, if you miss the morph and you know you have a cooldown for the morph, you're pretty much, you're toast. I mean, they're gonna be very hard to catch. So I at least got five out of seven every time I played Jason pretty much. So I did pretty well with Jason, but I, I kind of enjoyed surviving as the counselor just as much as Jason. So um, it's random every time who's Jason, unless you do private rooms, you could select Jason. So it was cool because you never know when you're gonna be Jason, when you're not. So the setup screen, you would select Jason and your counselor. So. That was pretty cool. Um, all of the just the little hiccups in this game, I'm sure they're gonna fix. So it was pretty much the same thing. Uh, starting off, you board up the doors, you lock it, you set up the bear trap, and then you kind of just look around. It was very repetitive. I thought it would get pretty boring pretty quick because of the re just the repetitive nature of trying to find things. But it was really fun with the things you can do and just the variety of you know everything was a different spot every time which was kind of nice too so i easily give this game a 9 out of 10 really looking forward to it um and that's gonna pretty much do it for this review this is just kind of my just kind of a touch up friday the 13th video on friday the 13th i figured it was a good time to do this wrap up of one of the greatest games i've ever played let me correct that. Not games. One of the greatest betas I've ever played. And I've played quite a few betas. I'm actually playing an open beta right now. Um, don't tell me which game I like better. That's too... Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball at heart. But this game, for what it was, and just for the, the one map and the few things we had to do, was very incredible. So if you did not get to play this, I gave out my 10 keys to subscribers. So if you did not get to play this... Uh, another thing too, the breaking free was a little too overpowered as well for Jason. If you had the, if you had pocket knives, you were pretty much invincible to Jason. That was another thing that really made me mad. And the grip strength of one, if you catch somebody early, you just kind of hold them around. You know, you pick them up and you just kind of hold them, and they could break free. And if they can't break free fast enough, then you could kill them. So a couple of annoying hiccups in this game, and. I'm sure they'll get fixed. So this was just a pre-open beta. And I think I believe I'm about to die. Yes, I am. So we'll watch me die before I go. As Jason X me in the stomach. So um, overall, still a freaking awesome game. <laughs> beta. So easily 9 out of 10. 9 and a quarter out of 10. Amazing game. So really looking forward to this. Spring and summer. I will be playing the hell out of this game. Streaming the hell out of it. So look forward to that so if you didn't get to play this i'm sorry so i did give up my 10 keys um if you did get to play it all the cool people i met made some really cool steam friends which i don't pc game so i'll probably never talk to them again but they were really cool people so um that's gonna do it for this review kind of a little touch up on friday the 13th so Hope you enjoyed the beta if you got to play it. If not, I look forward to playing with everybody in the spring and summer. Friday the 13th of the game on PlayStation 4. It's also on X Xbox One and it's also on PC. So make sure you get it. Um, you really can't get it in stores from what I see. So hit their uh, hit their Facebook page, Friday the 13th of the game Facebook page. Hit their Twitter. Um, they probably even have an Instagram, Facebook. So hit those up. There's always links on the site where to get the game. You can get a digital download. You can get special features. You can get the full disc. So um, I got the disc. It was only $60. Well, freaking worth it. I cannot wait till it ships. So, and there's Vanessa, that OP bitch. So anyways, that's going to do it. Don't forget to like, comment, tell a friend, subscribe. Peace out. Bye. Shabo. I'm going to watch her die real quick. Broken neck. Peace out. Bye. Don't forget to smile. Don't forget to smile. Right. Bumper. 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 Bumper.